Something else that I wanted to do a video on is my incubation setup for my Crested Gecko eggs. Um, a common mistake made with Cresteds because they can be incubated at room temperature is to incubate at too high of a temperature. Basically, um, my motto is, and it's echoed by a lot of other keepers, that the longer they stay in the egg, the healthier they'll be. It's the same, you know, concept with human babies, you know, the longer mom has baby in her belly, the, long the healthier baby will be. So, it gets really warm in my apartment because it's an upper, so I had to um, be a little inventive and come up with a way to keep my eggs cooler. And um, I actually used a cooler for this, so um, this is what it looks like from the outside. Let me see if I can slide this closer. Um, as you guys can see on top, I have an Accurite digital thermometer. It tells me the, um, the outside temperature, so the room temperature, and then this second reading right here is what it's reading inside the incubator. This is um, a probe, and the probe takes the readings from inside. Um, the humidity reading is also from inside. Um, don't you just love the sound of that dog barking? That's my landlord's dog, so I know she's also cameoed in a couple of videos of mine. But I'm going to crack this open and we'll show you guys what's inside. Okay, and this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, um, the first thing, the first layer is actually the incubator with my two really nice Crested Gecko eggs, eggs inside. Um, these were laid on the 17th, if you didn't catch the other video, so they are uh, 10 days old today, which is great. They still look fertile and nice, and they're, they're candling very well. So I have the incubator set on top. Um, I'll pop this lid off real quick. I unsnapped it for the video. Um, inside of the actual incubator, I have um, what is it? Super Hatch. Last year I was using Hatch Right, which is a um, incubation medium that comes like you just pour it and use it. This stuff you actually have to moisten. So this is supposed to have um, a better aeration in it and, and all sorts of things and it's supposed to improve the size of your hatchlings and allow better oxygen content and stuff. So I went with the uh, Super Hatch this year. And then in the container I have the lid vented with just five holes on the top. So I'm going to gently remove this so I can show you guys the rest of the setup. Okay. Um, the next level down, those bugs or something. The next level down are these jars. It's just a plastic jar. You could use a peanut butter jar if you have them on hand. But the basic principle is that you want them all to be the same size so you have a level surface. And these are filled with um, cool to cold water depending on what the room temperature is. And this just helps bring the overall temperature inside of here down a couple degrees. So I have the three jars that are full of water and the incubator rests on top of them. Um, I also keep these jars completely sealed because I don't need the extra humidity. So it's at about 30% inside the incubator which is good because there's enough inside of the container. Uh, this right here is the temperature probe for the this thermometer. Um, you can see that it's starting to go up now that I'm touching it. It was only at like 68 before and now it's at 68.4. It does have something sticky on the end of it. You can peel this off and stick it just to one place, but I like to move this around inside of the incubator. Sometimes I'll put it on top of a jar. Sometimes I'll put it on top of the incubator itself just to get um, different readings and see that the temperature is stable throughout. So right now I have it resting if I can get this. I'm using a new tripod. Right around there. It's not on the floor. It's just kind of hanging down in the middle of these three jars. So that's it. I know it seems like a really simple thing, but this could be a lifesaver. Say if your air conditioning goes out and you need to keep eggs cool because the temperature spikes um, at different stages in incubation can actually kill the developing neonates inside of the eggs. So it's just a really basic setup and the thermometer allows me to get an accurate reading without opening and closing this all the time and changing the temperature. So I picked this up for about $12. I think the cooler was another 10 and then these jars were free because I used what was in them. So water's pretty cheap. So all in all a really economical way to create an incubator or 
yeah, basically an incubator. I just want a stable temperature for these eggs, so that's what I did with this. So there you have it, my uh, homemade incubator for Crestic Echo eggs. Thanks for watching.